Hi, if you're watching this, then you likely already know that this is a video for Nintendo World Report's Patreon. It's our crowdfunding campaign to help ensure that NWR stays around for a long time, thanks to the support of viewers like you. Checkpoint. Oh, you want to know more? Okay. Okay, let's, let's do some more, but first, some context. Hey buddy, this is Max Lake, um, playing a GameCube. I'm here with John. We're at the press conference, it's pretty chaotic. This is going to be mass insanity, as usual. Let me introduce you to our new baby. <laughs> like all babies, it is small. <laughs> it will make a lot of noise. <laughs> Nintendo World Report started back in 1999. We originally launched as Planet N2000, as a podunk fan site run by Billy Berghammer, who has now gone on to bigger and better things. He literally works at Nintendo now, which is which is pretty rad. Checkpoint. We were Planet N2000 for like a hot minute before we became Planet GameCube, which we were for a number of years before we eventually became Nintendo World Report, which is the name of this thing that you're watching right now. Well said. I love Planet GameCube. Thanks, Mr. Miyamoto. We love you, too. There's a lot more to the history, as we soldiered on through the GameCube days to the Wii era to the age of the Wii U. If you want to know more about our history, former site director Jonathan Metz is actually writing a book right now. It's going to be super great. It's probably a little further down the line, and I know it's like a plug within a plug or whatever. But, but anyways, for close to two decades, we've strived to give you the best Nintendo news and reviews, as well as editorials and features, what have you. Past couple years, we've added podcasts, we've added videos, and throughout that all, our goal has always remained consistent. We want to be the best damn volunteer Nintendo site out there. That's right. Everybody who's ever written or done anything for Nintendo Report, we all do this for fun. It's just this hobby that got way too serious. In order to continue doing this way too serious hobby, we need a little help. In the past, we've depended on online ad revenue to pay for upkeep and expenses. But to put it politely, that's all super freaking volatile. We'd really love to be able to cut out that middleman and instead just provide content directly for you, the, the listener, the reader, the viewer, the fan. We'd much rather do that as opposed to serving some mythical SEO god. But what's in it for you, you might ask? Well, we have a number of reward tiers and stretch goals, which you can find on the Patreon page. But the goal of what we want to do is to bring in people that support us to be a bigger part of everything. Whether you get to see content that's in progress and you can offer your comments and feedback. Or maybe you can even contribute and provide input for different site features. Really, we're open to just about anything. We just want to have fun and keep on doing this awesome thing that has really touched a lot of our lives through the past almost 20 years. We'd love for you to, to support us however you can. So that way we can keep on doing Nintendo World Report until we're all old and gray. Thank you so much for watching this. And if you're thinking about giving to us monthly, that would be fantastic. Either way, have a great day. Nintendo World Report, it's Patreon, people. We truly appreciate your support. Even the smallest of donations makes a huge difference for us. Hi, I'm Michael Cole. People call me TYP around these parts. I host the Radio Trivia Podcast here at NintendoWorldReport.com. I'm Justin Bruby, known by some as the King Nintendo Fanboy, and I'm proud to be part of Nintendo World Report, an organization that's been independently covering all aspects of Nintendo for over 17 years. I'm Donald Terriel, news editor at Nintendo World Report, and no, the NX is not powered by the tears of young children. What are you looking at? Get out of here.